It's Press Pass with Jack Ebling, Mid-Michigan Spirited Sports Debate. Now let's get talking sports. Here's Jack. Good morning, Mid-Michigan and beyond. A late start tonight because of Game 5 of the World Series here on Fox 47. Welcome to Press Pass. And it's time to meet Team 318. Tom Crawford, Blue Belly Tom, my longtime broadcast partner covering 17 plus years, frequent contributor to TheWolverine.com, and he is a creator of the Crawford Podcasting Network. It's okay, you can smile. It's yeah, all right. No, no, I'll tell you what, people, I'm exhausted. We're just starting the show, all this pre production <laughs> banter. This guy to the right of me, just tires me out. So I'll try to get through these eight seconds. What time I'll did you get home like, last night? Uh, two o'clock. Two. Not I bad. congratulated Not you bad. on your oh, win. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, Between Lord. 12 insults, there was congratulations. <laughs> in there, you got your win. A smidgen. You beat Brian a Kelly in Notre Dame. Way to go. <laughs> what a welcome to Good the set. <laughs> Rico Beard, longtime Detroit radio and TV personality. <laughs> Specs Howard, broadcast instructor, recruiting insider, and... He is host of the Spartan Beat. Weekdays from noon to one. Spotlight Radio Network. You were at Spartan Stadium yesterday and you had to endure more than just rain. Yeah, I wish I could have left like every other fan and every other student, but I had to hear the rhetoric after the game. Yeah, this thing is, the wheels are wobbling. They're off. This is, this is bad. Uh, there's really no way you can sugarcoat this whatsoever. <laughs> uh, I think you might be able to guess Rico is not predicting wow. a nine and four finish here with Michigan so. State running the table. We'll get back to that. We're going to spend plenty which, which, which of time. That table. <laughs> which way? Also want to welcome back uh, Matt Charbonneau covers Michigan State football and basketball as a beat writer for the Detroit News and he is a podcast star at DetroitNews.com. Star might be pushing it a little bit there, Jack. I don't know. Uh, your view of yesterday, did anything change based on yesterday's game? No, not at all. I mean, <laughs> uh, I guess if you're, if you're a, a glass half full kind of person, more often than not, then it, maybe it's starting to empty that glass a little bit for you. But I think most of us have seen uh, this coming for a while. Michigan State kind of is what it is. As Rico said, the wheels are yeah. coming off. There's that, what, what, what don't we know now? They can't score points, and now the defense is kind of crumbling under that. We saw it for two weeks with Ohio State, Wisconsin. We saw it again against Special State. teams are terrible. And they special fair, teams are wrecked. They fair they're catch the ball at the The beauty of it is the special the teams. The special player. teams miscues yeah. didn't even matter. They still won. He'll be back for a seventh year. We will be back, <laughs> and we're going to talk a lot of college football. Uh, we're also going to talk college basketball. Yes, we had Michigan State madness. Friday night at Breslin Center, we'll talk about the Detroit Lions, the World Series, and much, much more. We get back, it'll be Going Green, brought to you by Graf, up next. Hut, hut, hike! Get in the saving zone at Capital Honda with game-winning offers on the new 2019 Honda Civic LX, 189 a month, or new 2019 Honda CRV EX all-wheel drive, 269 a month. You should be driving a Honda from Capital Honda. With MSUFCU's Visa Signature Card, receive 3% cash back on groceries, 2% cash back on gas, travel, and universities, and 1% cash back on everything else. Open your MSUFCU Visa Signature Card today. At the David Chapman Agency, we take your business insurance personally. Our expertise makes it easy for you. Experience the benefit of a local agent who cares about your business. With the David Chapman Agency and Auto Owners Insurance, visit davidchapmanagency.com. Every day, there are doors to open and steps to be taken. There are chapters waiting to be written. There are simple things that mean the world and things so complex, they can change the world. There are decisions to make that make all the difference. And we have a part in all of it every day. The City of Lansing has fun activities for all ages. Swim lessons, dance, creative arts, fitness and wellness classes, martial arts, gymnastics. To enjoy these activities and many more, visit lansingmi.gov slash parks. It's a crime. 911, all new Monday on Fox. It's model year closeout right here at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Get into the all-new Chevy Blazer for $261 a month or the all-new Silverado for just $172 a month. 
Get yours before they're gone at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Team Spirit. Face paint. More cowbell. Dean Trailways Motor Coach takes care of your travel so you can support your favorite Spartan teams and focus on the important things. Dean Trailways, your favorite ride. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for our Going Green segment, brought to you by Graf Chevrolet and Graf Nissan on West Grand River in Okemos. They'll take great care of you as they have on all seven of my leases and purchases. Well, you got to play better. You can't beat yourself. You got to execute. And there's certain things, you know, when you play a good football team that you cannot do. I would say in this particular game, you can't do any of these things and beat anybody. Um, you know, in terms of, you know, you can't, you got to have a good punting game. You can't get kicks blocked. You got to receive, as Jack said over here, you got all those, those points. You got to not turn it over on a punt return. And then you've got to effectively be able to, to, to stay ahead of the chains a little bit um, in terms of getting. Getting, getting situations where you can win on third down and not put yourself in negative situations too, too often. But uh, I think as much as anything, we collect yourself, stay positive with what we're doing. And, and as difficult as everybody wants to say out there, you, you know, you can't just, you can't abandon ship right now. You can't do that. You know, that does not work. Mark D'Antonio yesterday uh, kind of drenched and uh, weren't many fans around to share that moment with him, but Rico, Michigan State, uh, the scoreless streak went to more than 100 minutes. Uh, defense couldn't make any big plays and missed a lot of crucial small ones, too. Jumping offside on third and one, a hold on the third 11 incompletion. Both of those led to touchdowns. Right. Special teams atrocious. Why is this happening? Uh, you forgot. For some reason, they forgot who number one was on Penn State. And Kind of let K.J. Hamler just run wide open by himself for a touchdown. Jack, I don't know why this is happening. Um, I don't know if it's – at first I thought maybe it was the players, but I think it's – you got to go deeper to this. Maybe there's just – there's a disconnect between the coach, the coach, the coaching staff, the players. You got a lot of pieces, and no one's on the same page anymore, and it shows on the field. The Ohio State game they fought. These last two games – they were just out there. They looked like the team that collects the million-dollar check at the end of the game. That's how bad it looked. Matt Charbonneau, uh, Michigan State outscored by Ohio State, Wisconsin, and Penn State, 100 to 17. Now uh, this is against teams that were number one, number two, number three in the country in scoring defense, and these three teams are 22 and two. Can Michigan State show improvement in November, or are they doomed? to sub-mediocrity. Well, you'd think they'd have to show improvement just based on the schedule, right? I mean, you have Illinois, Maryland, and Rutgers among those four games left. And if you can't show any sort of life offensively against those three teams, then I'm not sure where this is going. I think it's going where a lot of us think it might be at this point, and that's some sort of change at the end of the year. Because you talk about those three games, and Rico mentioned it looks like they're not playing. Yeah. They're not playing hard. If you lose those three games to those three teams, I don't think anyone's losing their mind. But when you play those three games and look like you're never in the game at any point, that's when we have a problem. That's where Michigan State is right now. In those three games, Michigan State led for zero minutes and right. zero seconds. At least the first half of Ohio State looked competitive. Looked like they were fighting. Yeah. Yeah. You knew they were going to lose, but it looked competitive. When you talk about Illinois, that's no gimme for anybody right now. That is a team that beat Wisconsin. Well, yeah. And they scored 25 straight against Michigan yeah. before the Wolverines woke Absolutely. up. Absolutely. They hung on there. Absolutely. So they're good. Tom, when you think about Michigan State's schedule the rest of the way, let's take a look at that and see what the Spartans have. Uh, can they use a second bye in three weeks to rally at all, or has that ship sailed? Uh, that ship has sailed. The dagger board is broken. The, the mass <laughs> is broken. It's taken on water. Uh, you know, it's terrible the way this is laid out. I feel bad for them. Bye, Penn State, and now another bye. How do you, re how do, you do another reboot right now? It's one game that? in 27 days. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, I, you know, Illinois game is interesting. They'll, they'll bring it against Michigan. You know they will. I think they'll lose. 
But I'm, you know, the Maryland game. If they're on a, if they're a five and six team going in that Maryland game and that cynical crowd that might be showing up Thanksgiving weekend and a wet snow, cynical they, crowd. They, or if there's any crowd, thank you. That they, they, that could yeah. be a five and seven team if they're five and six going in. You mentioned the second bye too, and Brian Lewerke said yesterday, "What's the message?" He said, "Same thing as going into the last bye." <laughs> I mean, are you kidding me? I don't think that message worked. It's just, so just I, another week at transfer portal. Yeah. You know? Well, <laughs> Matt, how many wins in November? For Michigan State, I you know I got to think there's two for sure. I I still I, Illinois had a nice couple of weeks. I think Michigan State somehow manages to win three of those games. Probably not going to beat Michigan. Seven and seven five. And five is what you're saying, seven and five. Right? Yeah. Same as a year ago when they went to the Red Box Bowl and lost by a point. Right. To a very good. Audience. So they'll go to some middle of the road bowl and lose by a point. How shocked <laughs> would you be on a scale of zero to a hundred degree of surprise if Michigan State? got to 4 0 in November and beat Michigan. I, I'd be mildly surprised, but as Tom said, the Michigan game is just different. Yeah. I don't think they're good enough to go to Michigan and win, so I would be surprised, but it's not like I'd be floored. See, I, I think hate goes a long way, yeah. and I think you saw last year that wasn't a good team, but that hatred ca- kicked in, and it was a close you know, you game. Don't think hate Mich- you don't think Michigan hates Michigan State? Oh, they do. They don't. Yeah. Yes, they do. Their little brother. They only do you, care you about think they'll Ohio be marching State. the field again before the game? <laughs> they only care their about the game Ohio off? State. Yeah. Yeah. It'll be a chippy game. Tom, how many wins for Michigan State? Uh, seven. Seven. We'll be right back. We're going to talk about the Michigan Wolverines, Conquerors of Notre Dame up next. Anyone who's had our chicken knows it's plump and juicy. What they may not know is that it's also 100% natural. All our chickens are certified humanely raised, no antibiotics, on a high quality diet of soy and grain. Why are they called tenders? They're called tenders because they come from the tenderloin to the breast, hand trimmed just for colors. It's not a strip or a finger, it is the true tenderloin. I'll put our chicken tenders up against anybody's. That's like my Granny Franklin used to make. That's outstanding, Craig. Welcome to Delicious. So, I got my start in officiating when a friend told me I should try it. At first, I just did basketball, and I got hooked. Before long, I added baseball, softball, football, and volleyball. I really enjoyed giving back to the game, working with kids, and working with my local association to recruit and train new officials. I would like to say to anybody that officiating is a great way to help kids and stay connected to the game. We always need new officials. There's help wanted, just listen. The Student Bookstores are Green and White Shop headquarters. Outfit your entire family with Spartan gear. We have a large selection of men's, women's, and children's clothing. Show off your Michigan State pride with new shoes, socks, hats, and more. Have your tailgate ready with MSU party supplies, car accessories, and dress your pet in green and white. We have gifts for students, grads, alumni, and fans. From Vera Bradley and Dooney and Burke to diploma frames and more. Always shop SBS for the biggest and best selection of green and white. Go green. Go white. Go SBS. Download the Fox 47 News app and stay connected everywhere you go. Happy McRib season, honey. Enjoy the deliciously saucy McRib. Only for a limited time and only at McDonald's. Invisible Fence Brand gives your pets the independence and security to enjoy your entire yard. From pet training certified by leading animal behaviorists to set up an installation, Invisible Fence will design a solution customized to your needs. Boundary Plus Technology, rated a Consumer's Digest Best Buy, provides the longest range of protection against escape, while also providing your pet every inch of your yard to enjoy. Confidence, independence, security, Invisible Fence brand. Yeah, I can just uh, really talk about the you know character and the effort of the whole team. Uh, I just have so much respect for the players. Uh, they're some of the recent tests uh, and the and the, the growth that's that's come from that and their their mindset to uh, you know work and improve and uh, and also uh, you know led to a very to a great victory. Um, defensively, it was a it was a great great performance. Uh, we're just we're just so fast. We're just running so good and uh, and and the knockback in the in the defensive line was 
Outstanding, really good coverage. Michigan coach Jim Harbaugh, after by far the greatest day in his first five seasons at Michigan. I think you'd have to say that. Am I right, Tom? Well, I think Wisconsin, uh, and a, that was a pretty big win last year. Beat Penn State at home. I mean, there's, it's not Titanic, and that it was a non-conference game. I mean, second win in 12 <laughs> matchups against uh, <laughs> top 10 teams. But you have to hand it to Michigan. Uh, 303 yards rushing. Never no. thought I would see that. I did a great job defensively against Ian Book. How did this happen for a Wolverines <laughs> team? that uh, for the first half last week against Penn State looked like it was clearly outmatched. Well, you said it with that number, 303 yards. Run the damn ball. Four words we'll be talking about all week. I mean, that's what Michigan has got to do. It takes so much pressure off Shea Patterson. And then the defense, Cam McGroon, they have speed on defense. They bring in freshman Dax Hill in there, who's speed. So the Devin Bush departure is not so much of a void. They got, it. They got after. Ian Book, they put pressure on him, and so that kind of that dicey defense that Don Brown runs works out pretty good, especially when Notre Dame tries to throw in the first half in the rain. I mean, it was just tailor-made. So actually, Jim Harbaugh outcoached Brian Kelly. Yeah, does, by the way, does, be hearing yeah. that. does uh, any assistant in the world get referenced more on uh, coverage than Don Brown? Yeah, Dr. Josh Blitz? Yes. My goodness. Dr. Everything's, yeah, everything's Don it's Brown, Don Brown, Don. That's right. It's, it's Dr. Michigan. Blitz. It's yeah, a, but they haven't cold. had other coordinators that are constantly referenced anyway. Yeah. Sorry. That's a good point, though. Yeah. Rico, uh, <laughs> the Wolverines have been terrific the last six and a half quarters, <laughs> nearly coming all the way back against Penn State. And owning Notre Dame, is it possible? Possible that they could catch fire, run the table, come through this season 10 and 2. Um <laughs> Yes, it's possible. Is it going to That's further than I thought you would go. <laughs> okay. It would require a, probably like everybody a pandemic in Columbus. I that thought it would be 7 and 5 is so. not going to play at all. Ohio State is just that good. I'm sorry. That was a good win for Michigan. Ohio State may be the best team in the nation. They're not cutting anybody any slack. Wisconsin was the latest one to go into and get embarrassed by them. And it's not even a shame to get embarrassed by Ohio State. Everybody's taking it. <laughs> yeah. So to run the tape, if they beat Ohio State this year, man, that's the monkey off of Harbaugh's back right there. If Michigan can do this and finish 10-2, and two, would you be more surprised if the Wolverines lose at least two more games in the regular season and finish eight and four. So you're saying? If they would lose to Ohio State <laughs> and Michigan State and Indiana, have another loss along the way. I can see that. It's the Indiana game. I think that's the ultimate trap game for them. Right after Michigan State, right before Ohio State. Indiana always plays them close. You know they are not going to be as focused as they should, and Indiana's really good. They're pretty good Indiana good. team. Six that was six the one wins. loss I picked yeah. going into the season. You yeah. did. Really good. Yeah. You did. Oh, Absolutely. So I'm right. Thank you, Tom. Matt, uh, let's take a look at the Big Ten standings. Uh, is U of M the third best team in the East Division, and is Michigan or Minnesota the best U of M yeah. in the Big Ten. <laughs> Michigan's clearly the third best team in, in the East. I don't think better there's than much Indiana? question. Yeah, I mean, right now, they're okay. still better than Indiana. Doesn't mean Indiana can't win that game. And then the best U of M, look, because people should see us in between commercials. Goldie! They Goldie! Went, Michigan is rolling. Goldie is rolling. Michigan, Michigan, going at both. Michigan is clearly the best it U of be M in the Big Ten. It would be a running clock, trust It's me. not close. <laughs> Minnesota, look at Minnesota's <laughs> resume. <laughs> oh, we said this was going to be the year U of M made it to Indianapolis. We didn't say which one. Ski him <laughs> we will be back in just a minute, and we're going to look at the big picture and the college football landscape. Big win for Kansas State over Oklahoma. All that and more coming up. Can we recycle envelopes with plastic windows? Aye, laddie. How about this? Look, stand by food. Forget it. If it's got food residue on it, don't recycle it. Learn the rules of recycling at RecyclingRaccoons.org. Visit Glen Bugey Chevrolet in Eaton Rapids, just south of Lansing. Come see why it's better at Bugey with an expanded inventory and more salespeople to better serve you. Right now during Truck Month, lease this 2019 Silverado Crew Cab for only $179 per month. Need an oil change or service? Enjoy expanded service hours and more technicians on staff to get you in and out at Glen Bugey Chevrolet. For price to selection to service, it's better at Bugey. It's better at Bugey. 
Can we recycle envelopes with plastic windows? Aye, laddie. How about this? Look, stay in by food, forget it. If it's got food residue on it, don't recycle it. Learn the rules of recycling at RecyclingRaccoons.org. The new Fox Sports app, now with live streaming. Download it from the App Store today. What's really important to me is being able to have a partner, and Dart Bank has been that for me. I'm Eric Nelson. I'm a managing partner here at the English Inn. I've worked with John Morris uh, at Dart Bank to help put together um, multiple projects that have assisted us with growing our business and continuing to be successful. Team Spirit. Face paint. More cowbell. Dean Trailways Motor Coach takes care of your travel so you can support your favorite Spartan teams and focus on the important things. Dean Trailways, your favorite ride. It's model year closeout right here at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Get the Chevy Equinox for $193 a month or the Chevy Trax for only $147 a month. Get yours before they're gone at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. It's time for the big picture. Brought to you by Dean Trailways. With trips for every season, Dean takes care of the details so you can enjoy the experience, including daily casino runs and great getaways to northern Michigan and Chicago, where Doug Warren and I were in August for the NFL Legends Classic. That's Dean Trailways, your favorite ride. There you see the reaction yesterday. Uh, the nation stunned by the developments in Manhattan, Kansas. That's the little apple, not the big apple. And you saw what happened after an onside kick recovery was reversed. Kansas State running the ball the same way Michigan ran the ball on Notre Dame and getting a 48-41 win. Tremendous job. Kansas State has to be the team of the week with Michigan a close second, I would think. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you just stole my thunder. Matt, when, oh. when you uh, look at what happened here and you see how Kansas State has done this, what does this say about teams going undefeated, the Big 12 Conference, or specifically a program that might have three straight Heisman winners? Well, I mean, obviously it shows us that going undefeated isn't easy, right? And as Rico mentioned in the earlier segment about Ohio State, I'm having a hard time finding a loss for them, a couple other teams as well. But it, to go unbeaten is hard, and especially in conference. And I know a lot of times we look at conference games and you think another ACC team's not as good. Not so hard. But going in the conference and winning on the road is tough. Ask Wisconsin how tough it is. Winning on the road in a conference game is difficult. We saw that yesterday. And here's the other thing about the Big 12. You asked about that in the yeah. whole. Just another reminder that defense is nothing but a rumor in that conference. <laughs> I mean, you know, Never Oklahoma has, scores, what, 41 and still yeah, loses? Yeah. It's, I, I understand it's fun and you see the Heisman winners and they might have another one with Jalen Hurts, but when it comes down to it and winning big games, winning those important games, especially if you get in a playoff, you've got to be able to get stops and we don't see Big 12 teams do that. Tom, let's take a look at today's Associated Press Top 25. And we have a shuffle at the top with LSU moving ahead of Alabama, my question for you, would either of those teams beat the Ohio State Buckeyes on a neutral field? Not a chance. That's 14 plus. Not a chance. Not a chance. Chris Olave. I mean, let me list the names. J.K. Dobbins and Ohio State team. There's only one team that can beat Ohio Chase State. Chase Young on the <laughs> other side. That defense. I watched that game uh, before I left. To, for Ann Arbor on Saturday against Wisconsin. They are just so freaking impressive. They, they dominate. They, dom they kind of toy with you maybe a little bit against a good team. Yeah. No, Ohio State is by far the best team in the nation as it sits right now. We'll see what happens on November 30th, though. Rico, yeah. before the first college football playoff announcement, projections of what's going to happen, give me your four teams right now, if you were a one-man committee, and which four would you have on deck waiting to see if there was an upset? I think I would probably have the first four that they have. Clemson is the one that's really iffy to me. They're, 
the, the ACC is weak. Ohio State in, LSU, Alabama in, in. Clemson, yes. On deck, Georgia. I still like Georgia. I think they just had a slip up. Oklahoma, I would have on deck. Could you have Georgia. three SEC teams? Georgia? Man? Georgia struggled against I said Notre, Dame. Notre Dame. And Notre Dame must not be any good because they lost to Michigan. So how, can you, how can you say Georgia's any good? I'm sorry. I'm the one-man crew, right? <laughs> yes, right. So, therefore, let me finish. You may learn something. Okay. After that, as of now, I would put Penn State and probably Florida, to be honest with you. A lot of SEC schools, but they're going to beat each other up. So, in the end, you're not going to see all of that. But right now, they're a tough conference. Tom, are. are we sure that the Big Ten is going to get a team in? What if Ohio State does get upset by Michigan? What happens if in an inexplicable Big Ten championship game, something happens to Justin Fields and Ohio State is upset? We've seen Ohio State get stung before. Iowa, Purdue, they haven't had a bad game yet. They haven't been punched in the face yet. If Ohio State loses, could they get in with one loss? Well, I know you're hypothetical that they would lose to Michigan and then may maybe lose in a Big Ten title game is what you're saying? No, if they lose one game. One. No, Wherever one game. If, if they have to be they, I think if they lose I, in the Big Ten championship if they lose, game, they're, 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 I think with one loss, they get in myself. I, I really do. But, um, I mean, I, I don't think there's going to be two teams from I – mean, now that the Big 12 is out of it, yeah. I think there could be two from the SEC, the Big Ten, and then Clemson. If they lose to Michigan, they don't deserve to be in. <laughs> Whatever. Are we saying the Pac-12 is out? I think we. Oregon, kind of despite that season-opening yeah. loss. Yeah. Oh yeah. Bye bye. We and say the, the Pac-12 is out right away. Bye bye to the Big 12. They're right. so, toast. See no Pac-12. No Big 12. But and if, we're looking at two teams from the SEC. If Ohio State stumbles, I, I so. you could have your three SEC teams. I, I mean, I think so. I mean, I think when LSU plays uh, Alabama, the winner of that game. And then Georgia gets a chance Georgia. because they're on the other side. Put SMU in there before you put Georgia. Nah. Penn State? Anybody buying Penn State? No. What sure. happens no. if Penn State wins, no. beats Ohio State? No. Because no. if Penn State beats Ohio State, Ohio State, State and they're in the Big Ten title game, yes. yes. if they Penn beat Ohio State, State is going yes. to get rolled in Columbus. We'll only be debating this for another six weeks. All right. We will be back in just a minute and our going green segment. MSU basketball up next. Anyone who's had our chicken knows it's plump and juicy. What they may not know is that it's also 100% natural. All our chickens are certified humanely raised, no antibiotics, on a high quality diet of soy and grain. Why are they called tenders? They're called tenders because they come from the tenderloin to the breast, hand trimmed just for covers. It's not a strip or a finger, it is the true tenderloin. I'll put our chicken tenders up against anybody's. That's like my Granny Franklin used to make. That's outstanding, Craig. Welcome to Delicious. Woody's Oasis, your healthy alternative to fast food. Woody's has the best Mediterranean food in town. Stop and see Chuck and Delita. They'll make you feel like family. Their friendly, knowledgeable staff is always willing to help. Hi, how are Hi. you doing today? Do you want to do the homemade bread with that, or did you want to do the thin bread as a side? They'll be sure to put a smile on your face. And as lifelong supporters of MSU Athletics, you never know who might stop by. Eat Woody's and live longer. Coulda, shoulda, Woody's. Woody's Oasis on Trowbridge Road, right next to campus. At Tropical Smoothie Cafe, we have a taste for adventure because the only way to know how good something can be is to go for it. Try our veggie smoothies, island green made with spinach, kale, pineapple, banana, and mango, and Caribbean sea burst with carrots, mango, banana, orange, and goji. Adventure begins with never knowing until you try, but always expecting something great. Go for a veggie smoothie at Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Eat better, feel better. Thursday Night Football on Fox, NFL Network, and streaming on Prime Video. At Stadium Auto Connection, we stock our inventory every day to help you find a vehicle that fits your lifestyle. Choose from a wide selection of used cars, trucks, and SUVs from leading brands. Stop in for a hassle-free car buying experience. Baby! Today's Ask the Expert health question is answered by Dr. Michelle Southard from MSU Surgery. Doctor, what is your approach to evaluating plastic surgery patients? So starting at the initial consultation appointment, I focus on identifying the patient's specific concerns so that we can customize a treatment plan and achieve their goals. Well, very good. Thank you for joining us. If you'd like more information, visit healthteam.msu.edu. For over 15 years, 
Home Care Alternatives has been serving individuals in Michigan with home care, transportation services, and assisting individuals in maintaining their independence. Whether you need assistance for several hours or an extended period of time, our aides are here to support you. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for our Going Green segment brought to you by Graf Chevrolet and Graf Nissan. West Grand River and Okemos. Go green, go Graf. At seven o'clock last night, I had the uh, hardest part of my job. I had to sit down with Josh Langford and the doctors and find out that he has um, resurfaced the problem in his foot and he will be um, reevaluated in January, but he's going to be out. And uh, the kid has been the most selfless, greatest attitude, committed kid. He's didn't miss a practice last year, um, didn't miss a trip. Setback has been for the last two seasons, and to be honest with you, it's one of those weird things that breaks my heart. Michigan State coach Tom Izzo, starting year 25 in a way he definitely did not want to do. The heartbreaking news that Josh Langford going to be out till at least, at least mid-January with the recurrence of the injury from a year ago when he missed the last three and a half months. Rico Baird, what do we know about this injury and his possible return? I don't think we know a lot. Uh, from what we gather, he re-injured whatever it was last year that they kind of kept away from us for the in season. It happened again. He re-injured it. They're going to look at it again in January. I kind of had a feeling it'll probably be the same results as last year. I don't know if we've seen the last of Langford playing at MSU. Langford has a great spirit about it. Yeah. So he's the only one. He was cheering yeah. everybody else up. Friday I mean, night. He, he's. I mean, we're talking through Friday night. We're walking through the concourse, yeah. and he's like, "I count That's this. Faith I count this happened. all joy." And yeah, you know, he's just exactly. speaking of the Lord, and it's. He's the only one that feels that way. Everybody else, you say Josh Langford. Oh wow, they just dropped their head. Except for Josh, but. I think I don't know. I think it's going to give opportunity, for Rocket Watts yeah. to fill that spot. Rocket, mm -hmm. I, I think, could end up. Maybe even starting against Kentucky, he's a guy, you know, it, it, it depends on his defense, but he will shoot the ball. He is not afraid whatsoever to shoot that ball. Coming off of Cassius, I think they'll play well off of each other. But, yeah, would you like to have Josh in there? Yeah, you would. But I think Rocket will kind of make it, – it'll ease the pain for Spartan fans. This news uh, came to Tom Izzo just a few hours after learning that mm -hmm. Michigan State was indeed uh, the number one team in the preseason poll for the first time in school history. Now you wonder how he reacts. He's got a very deep team, but is this the moment for Rocket Watts to grab this position or maybe go with a bigger lineup? He's got a lot of different combinations. I, I, I think he eventually grabs that position. I don't know if Rocket starts against Kentucky, Rico, and I, I, I don't think that'd be a terrible thing, but I can see Tom kind of being a little conservative about it, put a guy like Kyle Arns out there that he knows is, isn't going to make a big mistake in a big game like that in your first game. But I do see Rocket Watts eventually kind of becoming that and, be, and, and moving into that role. But they, you're right, they got so many wing guys, yeah. so many different options right now when you go with Aaron Henry and Gabe Brown and we'll see what Malik Hall's role turns into, Kyle Arns, as we mentioned. A lot of options. We're just going to see a lot of that kind of finagling and seeing what see, works over those first, first see, couple weeks. I like weeks. Rocket just for the ball handling skills. Not I think you're right. Yeah. But I just think that putting him out there with Kentucky with Cassius, you, you can run Cassius on the off and let Rocket bring the ball up. Sometimes. He might play a lot. Yeah. I just don't know if the, for those first few minutes he yeah. doesn't go uh, there. I think his defense is a little better than I thought. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Just watching From him. What I'm hearing. not bad. Matt, uh, when you think about uh, what happened Friday night, we saw Izzo on stage with Quinn 92, the rapper, and then he came out as the Incredible Hulk, and he's joking it's the only time he's ever been able to look down on Marcus Bingham, who was standing <laughs> off to the side there. Is this a year that uh, Bingham is going to stand tall as a sophomore, or will someone else emerge at that position? Yeah, that, that's a tough one right now, and it's, I think, been the biggest question before the Josh Langford thing for this team all year is who plays that four. Marcus Bingham's going to get a chance, whether that is, is one he takes off with, I don't know. I think Thomas Kithier is also a good option there. And then, of course, the wild card 
is Joey Hauser, whether he gets that waiver. And I've been denied once, and they're appealing it. Yeah, I, Brad I, does not look yeah I, don't, I don't know if that's going to happen, but let's just say if it does happen, yeah. this team goes from a favorite to an overwhelming favorite. Yeah, he's, your, he's your plug and play four oh, yeah. if he's if We he's should overwhelmed. know something on that soon. It's another appeal, and uh, they feel that they have yeah. a chance anyway. Tom, uh, another banner raising. Uh, Friday night at yeah, Breslin sorry Center. Sorry, I missed that. Yeah. <laughs> I got it right here. Uh, we thought we'd give Rico's a picture for you, and you could watch the video yeah, here oh since boy. you couldn't be there. Cool. It's the 10th <laughs> in school history, a record eighth in the Izzo era. That's three more than Mike Krzyzewski has had in that span. What are the odds? They have to make room for another banner, uh, number 11 in the Raptors a year from now, or number three national championship. Well, I'll give a percentage. I'm a percentage guy. Yeah. I'm gonna give them a 30 to 40 percent chance of winning the national title because yeah. you have to. You got to be really, really lucky yeah. to have everything come into place. But with, when that team, I mean, that team goes three deep. I mean, they're the prohibitive favorite without question, in my mind. Yeah. And we've seen how many times the number one team does not win yeah. the championship. Right. Hello, Kentucky. <laughs> uh, we will be back in just a minute. Doug Warren's going to join us. Our Law of the Jungle segment, Talking Lions. Defy Gravity, one of the coolest facilities in America. Lansing's Ultimate Trampoline Park. Defy has more than 30,000 square feet of pure awesomeness. Featuring over 60 trampolines. Fly high with the open jump, kids jump, ninja obstacle course, air dunk, slack line, extreme dodgeball, trapeze, foam pits, and more. Host a birthday party or have the entire arena for yourself with the private party. Check out all the fun at defy.com backslash Lansing. Open seven days a week. <laughs> hey you. Yeah, you. Want to help out but don't know what to do? Get a superpower. Download the OK to Say app. That way, the next time you notice a classmate in trouble in real life, you can submit a confidential tip. At the speed of light, be the hero in the hallway. Stop the silence. Zap the violence. Download the Fox 47 Storm Shield app and stay in touch everywhere you go. It's model year closeout right here at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Get into the all-new Chevy Blazer for $261 a month or the all-new Silverado for just $172 a month. Get yours before they're gone at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. What's really important to me is being able to have a partner and Dart Bank has been that for me. I'm Eric Nelson. I'm a managing partner here at the English Inn. I've worked with John Morris uh, at Dart Bank to help put together um, multiple projects that have assisted us with growing our business and continuing to be successful. You're out. There's an old saying, you can never have too many officials. The age of the average official is 52 and getting older all the time. We're constantly recruiting new people, younger people to join us. After you register with the MHSAA, look on the website to find an officials association near you. They'll put you in a position to succeed as an official. We all learned a lot from high school sports, and officiating is a great way to give back to the game. There's help wanted, just whistle. It's model year closeout right here at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Get into the all new Chevy Blazer for $261 a month or the all new Silverado for just $172 a month. Get yours before they're gone at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for our Law of the Jungle segment. Brought to you by Woody's Oasis on Trowbridge Road. Your healthy alternative to fast food. Eat Woody's and live longer. I'm talking about chicken shawarma with baked breast meat and hummus made fresh in a three day process. That's why I'm there every week. Stop and see Chuck Delita and their terrific staff on Trowbridge, or find Woody's favorites at Tom's Foods, Clorox, and all across MSU's campus. All right, we are joined by our Detroit Lions historian and NFL expert, Doug Warren. Doug, uh, coming off a three-game losing streak, the Lions got it done today, and uh, a lot of people thought this would be when they turned it around. You weren't quite so sure. Why not? No, the Lions aren't a very good well, football team. And they, without some help from the Giants and Daniel Jones in particular, uh, they would have lost the game today without that defensive touchdown on the lateral uh, when Jones kind of threw the ball uh, haphazardly. 
But you know, the Lions are a team that uh, the one thing they did today that I was impressed with that we talked about all this previous week. They're one of the least. Uh, the, the, they blitz less than any other team in the league. Today they were much more aggressive, going after Daniel Jones with Jared Davis and others coming on blitzes, delayed blitzes especially. Hopefully that's a trend that continues with the Lions and they'll be more aggressive trying to create sacks. Uh, Trey. Uh, um, Trey Flowers. Flowers had two sacks today. Those are his two, uh, first two sacks as a Lion, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, homecoming for Golden Tate, who has caught more passes in Ford Field than anyone except Calvin Johnson. And uh, Daniel Jones found him early and often. Jones with four touchdown passes. He looked like a guy worthy of being the number six pick in the draft. He did. Uh, I didn't think that was a good pick, but so far so good. He looks really good. He's, I think the Giants have their quarterback of the future, unlike you know some question marks in teams like with Baker Mayfield and Cleveland right now. Doug, I said uh, this was the time the Lions would turn the page, start a three-game winning streak after that three-game skid. Still think they're going to finish around 8-8, eight and eight, but I think this shows the difference in playing Kansas City, trip to Green Bay, Minnesota, and now you've got the Giants and teams to follow. Mm-hmm. I think they'll lose next week at Oakland. <laughs> um, <clears throat> now, I, I mean, that's a game they could win, but th there's so many uh, times that the Lions have just kind of squeaked by, and David Carr, say what you want about him, but he's going into the day, he uh, had the highest completion percentage of any quarterback in the league, completing over 70% of his passes. <clears throat> and the Raiders have won a couple of games against the Bears and, and other teams that, you know, they're kind of in the same spot the Lions are, but going to the West Coast, a 405 start, I think the Raiders will, will eke a victory out against Detroit next week. No Darius Slay, but it was Darius Slayton. Yeah. Two touchdown yeah. catches today and Good. was nearly the hero of the game. Let's take a look at the scores we have this week in the National Football League. Thursday and today's games. Doug, what surprised or impressed you the most? I mean, maybe this is cliche, but the Patriots continue to impress me. The fact that they're winning the way they are, the defense is playing as good as it's ever played. I don't see them losing a game until, I don't know, maybe Baltimore could hang with them in a couple of weeks. But, I mean, they could, they could go through the season 13, 14 games before they lose if they get past the Ravens in a couple of weeks. What about Super Bowl champion 49ers? The 49ers have been extremely impressive. Um, and that, I mean, they're, they haven't had this, uh, this start, uh, start since 1990. That's impressive as well. Um, the, and again, the Green Bay Packers, they have been impressive since day one. They're playing, of course, uh, as we speak uh, with the Chiefs. The changes that they've made in Green Bay, the free agents, and, and revamping that uh, defense and the offense, I think it's been uh, pretty good for Green Bay. And they, I thought they'd be the worst team in the division. They turned out so far to be the best in the NFC North. Yeah, I still think when it's all said and done, the Vikings are going to be the team to beat. But as you look at these scores today, I really <laughs> thought the Saints getting Drew Brees back, playing an Arizona team that had won three in a row, uh, Saints have a complete team. Again, they did this without Alvin Kamara. I think this is a team that's going to be right there at the end, but it's going to take a really good team, whether it's the Niners or somebody else, uh, to beat New England. Doug, uh, when does New England lose a game? I said a couple weeks ago, I still think it's Baltimore. Yeah, Baltimore will be the game. team to beat them. Um, that doesn't mean they're not going to win the rest of their games, but I think that's where they'll first have their first stumble. Uh, and, you know, you talk about the Saints. <laughs> they're, they're playing well, and they played well with Teddy Bridgewater. But again, the referees today in the Lions game, that penalty they called on uh, the punter when he, he had a nice acting job that gave the, the Lions a first down and ended up being a field goal drive. I mean, the, the referees are as bad as I've ever seen them. They have to correct this because they can't have another incident like happened last year in the NFC Championship game cloud this season, whether it involves the Saints or not. Guys, you think the Lions win at Oakland? Oh, I do. I, I Why not? do. Yeah. You think absolutely. they win in Chicago? They, they beat the Bears? They beat the Bears twice this year. Wow. I think. I think they have a three game winning streak when yeah. Dallas comes in. Dallas isn't playing that well. I don't Doug, know. if you look at the Lions now in the NFC North standings, they have half as many wins as the Packers and Vikings. What do they have to do to close that gap? Well, they got to win the games in their division. They still have uh, you know, two games against the Bears two more games against uh, the Packers and Vikings. So if they take care of business in the division, they'll be in the hunt at the end. We'll be right back. Our Take It to the Bank segment brought to you by Dart Bank. We'll talk about the World Series up next.
Visit Glen Bugie Chevrolet in Eaton Rapids, just south of Lansing. Come see why it's better at Bugie with an expanded inventory and more salespeople to better serve you. Right now during Truck Month, lease this 2019 Silverado Crew Cab for only $179 per month. Need an oil change or service? Enjoy expanded service hours and more technicians on staff to get you in and out at Glen Bugie Chevrolet. For price to selection to service, it's better at Bugie. Bye, Mom. Have fun. Maybe next weekend. Don't put off till next weekend what you can enjoy doing today. With the affordable John Deere 3E Series, you can handle any job on your property and turn that chore list from to do to done. Looks like we had nothing to worry about. Nothing runs like a deer. Ladies, don't let the guys have all the fun. Get your tractor at D&G Equipment in Mason, Williamston, Corona, Howell, Highland, Charlotte, and Rise Junction. There's so much more I can teach you about murder. Team Spirit. Face paint. More cowbell. Dean Trailways Motor Coach takes care of your travel so you can support your favorite Spartan teams and focus on the important things. Dean Trailways, your favorite ride. The Student Bookstore is your green and white shop headquarters. Outfit your entire family with Spartan gear. We have a large selection of men's, women's, and children's clothing. Show off your Michigan State pride with new shoes, socks, hats, and more. Have your tailgate ready with MSU party supplies, car accessories, and dress your pet in green and white. We have gifts for students, grads, alumni, and fans. From Vera Bradley and Dooney and Burke to diploma frames and more. Always shop SBS for the biggest and best selection of green and white. Go green. Go white. Go SBS. Woody's Oasis, your healthy alternative to fast food. Woody's has the best Mediterranean food in town. Stop and see Chuck and Delita. They'll make you feel like family. Their friendly, knowledgeable staff is always willing to help. Hi, how are Hi. you doing today? Do you want to do the homemade bread with that, or did you want to do the thin bread as a side? They'll be sure to put a smile on your face. And as lifelong supporters of MSU Athletics, you never know who might stop by. Eat Woody's and live longer. Coulda, shoulda, Woody's. Woody's Oasis on Trowbridge Road, right next to campus. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for our Take It to the Bank segment brought to you by Dart Bank. Dedicated to meeting the needs of our banking community for more than 90 years with four convenient locations in Mason, Holton, South Lansing, Grand Ledge, and the expanded Home Loan Center in Frandor. That's Dart Bank for what matters most. All right, uh, gentlemen, we are coming on tonight uh, an hour after the World Series ends. Don't know at this point whether there'll be nine innings or 16, but <laughs> at some point we will be on, and you're watching that right now. Uh, Tom Crawford, what can we take to the bank about a series? Each team has had a blow up, blowout win, mm -hmm. and the road teams have won each of the first four games. Yeah, that's been interesting. Well, what we can take to the bank, number one, I won't be watching because I really don't care. <laughs> oh, uh, oh. Number two. No uh, Michigan players? <laughs> There, there will be uh, champagne in the in the clubhouse. That's that's number two. And number three, I don't think Max Scherzer, I think he's done. Because he, he, going into tonight's game as we're taping, evidently yeah. he's injured. And that may be game seven. I don't think there's going to be a game seven. Next spasm, mm -hmm. whatever that right is. trap. It so doesn't sound good. That's what I'm going to take to the bank that Max Scherzer is done for the take season. Take to the bank, him against, take Ver it to the bank. Him, him against Verlander in game yeah. six. Yes. Yeah. How about that? Well, we're taping too soon to see if Joe yeah. Ross is our player <laughs> yeah. of the week. I'll tell you that. Uh, Matt, when you think about Scherzer in game one, outdueled Garrett Cole, didn't have his best stuff, threw a ton of pitches, had runners all over the bases, but fought out of it, really battled. And then we saw Justin Verlander in the second game, and he broke John Smoltz's World Series career strikeout record, but yeah. fell to 0 5 in World Series games. If it did happen, that these guys met for a deciding game, Scherzer versus Verlander. Who would you rather have on the mound, and uh, how many coronaries would there be in Detroit? That'd be a tough one. Uh, I, it's hard to look at Verlander's record and say you feel confident in that guy in, in a World Series game. So, but Scherzer not 100%. Ah, oh, man, that's a, that's a tough I don't know if I could pick one, and I'm glad I don't have to, but 
It might be a coin flip because Verlander then I looked like remember that year he was in the All Star game and he yeah. was trying to throw a hundred every pitch. Yeah, it's kind of what he looked like. Yeah. It wasn't very effective. Pedestrian. So I mean, I'd like to see yeah. Scherzer do it just so he can get a ring too. Yeah. But who would you, know. you rather have on the mound, manager? I mean, like I said, I'd like to see Scherzer because I think he got a raw deal in Detroit. Yeah. And he's yeah. always Big been time. my guy because of that. But gun to my head, I'd probably take Verlander. <laughs> I just I would have more confident in, in Berlin. He's given up 42 home runs yeah. already this season and uh, twice as many as anyone else in the postseason. Don't yeah. know about that. Got to keep the ball in the park. Uh, Matt, he's married to Kate Upton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so why he's he good. So, so give it to wins. Scherzer. He's yeah. not winless. Even on a bad he day, he goes home. <laughs> Honey, had a bad day. Oh, come here. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, one thing we yeah. know is that the Detroit Tigers are light years away from being in the Fall Classic after a 47 win season. And if you look at the other championships that uh, Tigers have had, you have to go back 35 years. That's a long time unless you're a Cleveland Indians fan. You have yeah. to go back 71 years. But how long will it be before Detroit is relevant again in the baseball universe? And will any current Tigers be around to see it? They play in an ALCS. Well, on the current current Major League roster, that's probably no. Yeah. I mean, maybe an outside chance on a pitcher or two if, if you know, Matt Boyd hangs around. Who knows? Yeah. Um, but how long till they're relevant? I mean, this is this isn't a quick turnaround with what we're seeing. Five years. This is I'm thinking four to five years. That's yeah, a, that's and, too long. But that's the reality of baseball. You can't. I mean, to turn it around that quickly, you need a few core guys, and then you need to be able to spend and spend and spend. But you, that doesn't guarantee you get guys here. It took the Astros so is, about five years yeah, of uh, the farm horrendous yeah. play before this happened. So. One thing you know when you watch these teams in the World Series, Tigers are playing a different sport. We'll be right back with all of our weekly awards. Cool and Smooth, brought to you by Culver's, up next. It's model year closeout right here at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Get into the all new Chevy Blazer for $261 a month or the all new Silverado for just $172 a month. Get yours before they're gone at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Anyone who's had our chicken knows it's plump and juicy. What they may not know is that it's also 100% natural. All our chickens are certified humanely raised, no antibiotics, on a high quality diet of soy and grain. Why are they called tenders? They're called tenders because they come from the tenderloin to the breast, hand trimmed just for colors. It's not a strip or a finger, it is the true tenderloin. I'll put our chicken tenders up against anybody's. That's like my Granny Franklin used to make. That's outstanding, Craig. Welcome to Delicious. What's really important to me is being able to have a partner, and Dart Bank has been that for me. I'm Eric Nelson. I'm a managing partner here at the English Inn. I've worked with John Morris uh, at Dart Bank to help put together um, multiple projects that have assisted us with growing our business and continuing to be successful. It's model year closeout right here at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. Get into the all new Chevy Blazer for $261 a month or the all new Silverado for just $172 a month. Get yours before they're gone at Graf Chevrolet in Okemos. At Stadium Auto Connection, we stock our inventory every day to help you find a vehicle that fits your lifestyle. Choose from a wide selection of used cars, trucks, and SUVs from leading brands. Stop in for a hassle-free car buying experience. Hey, baby! Women business leaders inspiring mid-Michigan and encouraging you to get your yearly mammogram. Find local resources during Breast Cancer Awareness Month at fox47news.com slash womenleaders. Welcome back to Press Pass here on Fox 47. Time for a cool and smooth segment brought to you by the five Culver's locations in mid-Michigan. Since 1984, Culver's has been delighting guests one meal at a time with scrumptious butter burgers and premium frozen custard. That's Culver's. Welcome to Delicious. 
I feel good, man. You know, like I told you guys earlier this summer, I did a really good job of working on my conditioning. I knew I was going to play a lot of minutes this year. And, uh, you know, it showed. The hard work I put in this summer, it showed. I played a lot of minutes and played, you know, hard all those minutes, too. So, you know, I could have done without my teammates. You know, they had my back. You know, when I had the stretches, when I, you know, got a little bit tired, you know, they had my back on the defensive and offensive. They did a great job of knocking down shots when I set them the screens. Uh, overall, it's a great collective night for all of us. Derrick Rose came off the bench and played great. You know, all our guys that came off the bench that gave us minutes played great. There you see Andre Drummond. Hey, you got to give him credit. He looks he like a different is, player. He looks he like he's been working out. He's worked on his game. He had a lot of deficiencies. People wanted to drive him to the airport. And now he's a very valuable part of the Pistons, whatever they can achieve this year. See if they can finish higher than eighth uh, in, the, in the conference. Want to talk a little bit about our awards this week, Team 318. Rico Beard, let's start with you in our Play of the Week. Play of the Week. Well, I'd like to go with a play, but technically because it was an exhibition, it's not really a play, mm. but it was really cool if you were there. <laughs> yeah. If you stayed around for Midnight Madness. We couldn't believe it. No, we couldn't. Caleb Bellas, Michigan State basketball player, women's basketball player, into the game, turns around, shoots at about 80 feet, just one-armed it all the way, nothing but net. The place erupted, and I was like, Okay, because Jack's looking at me like, that's not going to go. That's, that just <laughs> went through. Wow, they mobbed her. It was a cool scene. Yeah. But exhibition. Real thing, probably, and I never thought I would say this, the Oklahoma onside kick yeah. at Kansas State. Oh. Because so many things changed on uh, that play. Right, true, it was right. a roller coaster of emotion. Oklahoma looked like they actually got it back. Yeah. The ball was just sitting there. They were going to tie that game up, and you just knew that, okay, we can march on oh, for yeah. a national championship. It got overturned. Yeah. Right call, by yeah. the way, because I know everybody complains about the refs, and it kind of just ended their season. Impacted teams all over the country, it no did. question. Matt, what about our game of the week? I was trying to figure out a way to weasel in or finagle in <laughs> Tiger Woods as a, yeah. you know, winning in Japan. It's not really a, you know. But you said it. So you <laughs> well, what do you? It's not really a game, and a lot of people want to say Kansas State, Oklahoma. That was a great game. Yeah, I, I'm going to come back and stick with the Big Ten, and it was a blowout. But I'm saying Ohio State, Wisconsin, because this was the day I think most of the country said, "Whoa, okay, well, Ohio State was good." Name. No, I don't care. This game right here said Ohio State is arguably the best team in the country because they took a Wisconsin team very good and just kicked them to the curb like they didn't matter. Yeah, exactly. Illinois beat Wisconsin. I'll remember that. Team of the week, Tom Crawford. What do you have for us? Team it? of the week. You know, I would go with the Michigan Wolverines, but they're going to be my team of the week on November 30th, the day after they beat Ohio State, the 50-year reunion of the 69 game. <laughs> so, but I'm going to go with Kansas State. <laughs> this, yeah. I'm going to tell you why I'm going to go with Kansas State. I know we're in repetitive with it, but because it, it, it made sure that the Big 12 would not have a representative in the CFP, which they don't deserve because they don't what play. What if Baylor like, runs the table? Like Matt said, they don't play any defense. No, Baylor's not going to. No, no, no. no. So no. They, they do they not deserve. Yeah, so K-State is my team of the week. This segment sponsored by Culver's and Vodka. <laughs> <laughs> not the best combination. <laughs> All right, time for our player of the week. I want to give a shout out to Tevin Coleman, okay? who had all kinds of injury oh, issues. God. People wondered if he would ever make it, right? Fantasy Tevin guys Goldman, coming right? out. Comes out four touchdowns today. 49ers. The 49ers with that 51-13 win. Tremendous. But I'm going to give a shout-out to Bill Belichick. Now he has career win 300. He is 47 behind Don Shula. He is 24 behind George Hallis. He is third. And they asked him about the game. He said, you yeah, know, no. Yeah, would you get ready for next week? You know, that's what he does. Yeah, right? win. But his team still hasn't lost. The Dolphins can't celebrate per 72, all that stuff. The Patriots look fantastic. Congratulations for Bill Belichick for doing it his way. I want to thank Blue Belly Tom, Tom Crawford. Congratulations, Tom, on last <laughs> night. Rico Beard, you can hear him on the Spartan Beat. And Matt Charbonneau, Detroit News, football and basketball. See you next week, everyone. Earlier time.